What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys the future of hand motion capture. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So what we have here are the brand new Manus Quantum Meta Gloves. These just literally came out. You can go to the website for more details on how you can order these, but they were nice enough to send me a pair out early just so you guys can kind of go see them. So I'm going to start by unboxing this like so. You can already see by the sleek packaging right there. We have Manus, it's all glossed on top of the matte black. And let me open this box up so you guys can see what's inside. And we'll start the unboxing here. So the first thing that you see, we have this little banner here that says welcome. It shows you the setup on how to get started, which I'll go through in the next part of this video. But if you look on the back here, this is just kind of like a quick reference on if you ever need to know anything about your gloves there, you can just pull this sheet out and you have all the information that you need there. Let's get started into the unboxing here. So the first thing that I see is my Manus dongle, which if you watched any of my previous videos with the Manus gloves, you know that this is how you communicate with your Manus gloves. You just plug this in, USB into your computer or your laptop, and this will share information to your gloves, which is in this box right here. Then moving on, we have some batteries here. It comes with two batteries, and these will actually just charge up with your USB. You'll plug these directly into your glove, and this will come with USB cables that you can charge these up with as well. You can also order more of these on our website if you believe you need some. And then right here, these are the centering mount clips in which let me open these up so you guys can see what these are. And so let me open one of these up for you actually. So there's a bunch of different clips in here. These will be attaching your sensors to your fingers there. So let me actually pull this out so you can see what it looks like, not on the glove, but these are basically what your fingers would slide into. So you come with a whole plethora of these in case you need to replace them or anything, but basically you will pull these out. You can slip your fingers into them like so. And then on the back here, this will attach to the sensor, which is gonna be on the glove, which I'll show you here in a moment. And then we also have these other clips in here as well. And so these are actually a one-time use type deal. And so as you can see, you can actually take it and wrap it around your finger. It has sticky adhesive on the back there and you'll put it around your finger like so. So if you had like somebody that you needed to capture that they needed their fingertips exposed, something similar to like what I do with Mixmaster Mike, he needs to put his fingers on a vinyl and he wants to feel the vinyl as he's doing his motion capture. And so this would be a good solution for that. But again, this is a one-time use. You can see that it has adhesive on the back of it. So you can order more of those or if you can figure out a way to repurpose these as you need fit, maybe like double-sided tape or something like that. You could probably go that route as well. Then moving on into the box here, we have some mounts, which these will be your physical mounts that would go on your glove. So if you have like an x suit like I do, you can actually put your x sensor right through here, in which I happen to have right here. So I think it will go into this mount like so. So let me see, you will slide it through here slide it through, clip on the clip like that. And then you have your hand mount and this will go on top of your glove. And I'll show you guys how to connect this here in a moment. But we also have some other clamps depending on if you have other motion capture solutions as well. We have these smaller clamps right here. And then we have these ones that will actually, if you have like a Vive setup and you wanted to use the, the Polygon system that Manus has, you can actually put the trackers on here. You can screw it on and then connect this to your gloves as well. Then moving on in here, we have some USB cables, as I alluded to earlier. So these would connect to your glove and everything. You just plug these in USB, whether you have like a wall outlet or do it directly to your computer, plug these into your glove and you can actually charge them. And you can always do firmware updates with these as well. And then one last thing before we get onto the gloves, we have this big box right here, which these will have some sensor mounts in which I'm not sure which system these go to, but you can see we have like the tracking dots on here, I believe similar to like the Vivecon system, but I would have to ask, but you have these included inside your box as well. And now on to the part everybody wants to see, the actual Manus gloves. And so that will be inside this package right here. Let's get rid of this box for right now. Let's open this up so we can see exactly what we all came to see here. So we're gonna open it up towards camera like so. And there we go. So we have the Manus gloves here. 
This is what it looks like without the sensors already attached to it. And then I also have the pair of gloves, actually the gloves here that have the fingertips attachments to them. And as I was alluding to before, you would just connect these to your sensors and you would just stick your fingers in them, in which I'll give you guys a demonstration here in a moment on the finger tracking data. But first, let me show you guys the battery. So this is the battery right here. You would just slide it through like so. And then we have this little green lever and this is gonna actually lock it into place. So now our battery is in place. And if I look on the back here, we actually have a little Wi-Fi signal. And if you slide that over, you should start seeing the blink. And once I have it connected to the computer, that's gonna be a solid color, but this is gonna connect directly to your dongle in which I had over here. So you'll need to make sure you have your dongle and you have this set up right here and everything will be connected. And then the last piece to the puzzle, if you have any type of motion capture suit that you have the sensor that you wanna put onto it, you would just slide this in here like so. And now you have your Manus gloves connected to your sensor and you have a complete package. So in the next part of the video, we're actually going to hook this up to the computer. We're going to get some finger tracking data, and then I'll release the data to you guys in case you want to try out the finger data for yourself. So this is what it looks like once everything is on. You can see I have the batteries in here, I have the little thumb gloves in here, and I have all the sensors connected as well. And what's cool about the thumb gloves is they come in three different sizes, and so you can fit them to each one of your fingers and kind of customize it how you want it to fit on your individual person. But let's take a look at the software and go through the calibration. So right here, we have the Manus Core dashboard. You can see right now, I have hand movement going on, but nothing is calibrated yet. So let me come over here to my right hand side and I'm actually going to come down here to where it says calibrate gloves and I'm going to start the calibration right now. So it's telling me to lay my hand flat on the surface. So I'm just going to do it like so. And the next one says make a fist. So I'm going to make a fist like so. And here we are for the last one. It wants you to open and close your hand like so, keeping your fingers together. So I'm just going to go through the movement as it has it in the example there going slowly opening and closing my hand there we go so now this one is calibrated and you can see on the left hand side that is my left glove so i'm going to do the same thing for my right glove here and there we have it now that everything is complete i am moving my fingers as so and everything is calibrated so the next step from here let's actually motion capture some finger movements and then we're just going to see what it looks like inside of our dcc so in order to capture your movements here, I'm going to come over here to recording. And then you can see we actually have the hands just sitting there inside of our viewport there. I can actually move this around just like you would in Unreal. So if I hold down the right click on my mouse and hit W to move in forward, hit A. And I'm just going to kind of line these up in the middle there like so. And so now what I want to do is come down here and I want to actually record it, which we have this big record button right here in the middle. So I'm going to click record. I'm just going to lay it flat, just like you're in a T pose. And then I'm just going to do some hand movements. So let's do one, two, three. Let's do the okay movement, pointing up to the sky and then end it off with the shocker there and see what that's going to look like. So what I'm going to do now is actually hit the record button again. And now we should have our information all loaded up. So it looks like I did about 19 seconds, closer to 20 seconds worth of content here. It's gonna be capturing it at 60 frames per second. If I wanna click on this right here, you can actually export up to 120 frames per second, but I'm just gonna stick with 60. You can export meshes if you like, which for this example, I'm just gonna export the mesh with the finger data. I'm gonna leave off tracker position cause I don't have any trackers on here or anything in my export unit. I'm just gonna leave it at centimeters, but we do have some other options here as well. So I'm gonna click on export FBX. And I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. Then I'm gonna click on save. And while this is red, that means that it's saving out your information. If you look down here in the lower right hand corner, we actually have a percentage for exporting. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna actually open up Cinema 4D and we're gonna bring that information in and see what it looks like. Now it has Cinema 4D opened right here. So what I'm gonna do from here is actually just go to my file explorer. This is my FBX that I have right here. I'm just gonna lift click, drag and drop it in the Cinema 4D. I'm just gonna leave everything on at default from my FBX import settings, click okay. Now this is what we're gonna see once it's all imported inside of our DCC, which I'm using Cinema 4D here. 
So if I just zoom in to one of the hands here, and just start playing through my timeline, you can see we have the motion capture data in there. So you can see the actual fingertips are actually touching, which is really cool. Cause I just showed you how accurate everything is in there. Let me play this through a little bit more. Let me actually try to do like an overhead view so we can actually see the hand a little bit better. Let me move this up into my viewport. So there we go. Let's play through again. So that was flat. One, two, three. We have the pinching moment right there. And then let me see what this one is. That looks like that's pointing. And then at the end, we had the shaka. Let me see if I can pull this up. Sorry, there we go. So yeah, you can see we have like a good shaka moment right there as well. And I'll let you guys have this FBX data. Like I'll put this up on my description. I'll put a link into it. I'm just gonna have it on my Gumroad page. In case you guys just want to kind of see the data that we pulled out of the gloves here make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because in future videos i'm going to show the man is quantum gloves working with the motion capture suit i have the x ends of window so that's something that you're not going to want to miss the finger tracking along with the whole body capture so make sure you subscribe and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here